When we looked at Psalm 149 this week, the one thing that we looked at was ourself. What we didn't look at is we didn't look at how the Lord views us through this time. See, many times our heart gets hardened toward different issues. It gets hardened toward communion. It gets hardened towards baptism. It gets hardened towards worship, especially. It gets hardened towards all different things that are going on within the church, and we forget to put the Lord first in it. What we also don't tend to see is how the Lord views us during this time. Psalm 149 says, Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise in the assembly of the saints. So Psalm 149 starts with praising the Lord and then points to the saints, then it ends with the saints, and then it praises the Lord again. Let Israel rejoice in their Maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music to Him with tambourine and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the humble with His salvation. Let the saints rejoice in His honor and sing for joy on their beds. May the praise of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands to inflict vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with fetters, their nobles with shackles of iron, to carry out the sentence written against them. This is the glory of all His saints. And it ends as it began with praise the Lord. We'll see you tomorrow.